Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Esther, chapter 6, in this continuing saga of Mr. Haman against Mordecai. On that day could not the king sleep, on that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servants said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to do honor more than myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighteth to honor, let the royal apparel be brought which the king useth to wear and the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man with all whom the king delighteth to honor, and bring him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighteth to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste, and take the apparel and the horse, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai the Jew, that sitteth at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai, and brought him on horseback through the city, street of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor. And Mordecai once again came again to the king's gate, but Haman hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered. And Haman told Zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise man and Zeresh's wife unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shalt surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberlains, and hasted to bring Haman unto the banquet that Esther had prepared. Well, that's the reading today. You know, Haman messed up all the way around. He got prideful in himself. He got deceitful. He got spiteful. He used his influence to have a proclamation declared against the Jews. But he didn't take into account God. Moreover, he didn't know that Esther was a Jewess herself. Now we see that he thought to make himself be exalted even more. He was so self-righteous. I wonder how many of us have that problem today. So self-righteous. Why, who could the king want to honor more than me? Lord help well, he's on a downhill slide, and we'll get to that in the next chapter. God bless you.